retired Professor Bill Winters, and I was a professor at WCC for 44 years. Yeah, and I'm retired now. <laughs> uh, I'm Bill Winters, Jr. I'm his son, and I graduated from WCC in 1996, and now I'm a professional director of photography. Well, I was there in 66 and 67 as a student, and then I came back employed in 74, and I just retired in 2019. So I've been associated with the college a long time. <laughs> it was a big school, but it felt like a family. Like everyone kind of knew each other, and all the, the teachers knew each other, and I, it, was just, it was a very welcoming place. They just like welcomed you into, the, into their school, and when you were there, you felt like you were amongst family. And when I got there, uh, Professor, uh, well, he was Dean Allegretti, he said, well, we need to have you teach a class or two in the television production. So I said, sure. And I wrote the first syllabus for the television production class that they're still using today. And then I added over the years television two, radio production, announcing. And one of my colleagues, Helen Smith, she... Um, she started the mass media class and eventually in the 1980s they were all separate classes they weren't a part of a program of any kind well we formed the curriculum and that was that was when you could first get a degree in communications and then in the 90s we became a separate department altogether we were under the english department at the beginning I can't put it into words what a good experience it was, first as a student, but then as a professor. Uh, many of my students w would come over here, and then they'd meet Bill, and they'd become friends with Bill because he was more their contemporaries. <laughs> and they're still friends. Yeah, we're still friends today. They're still yeah. friends today. Yeah. And I have several that are friends still with me. And we, we go to train shows, and we do all kind of, go to the movies together. And one is a record collector like I am. I'm big into vinyl, so I've got a huge record collection. So we share things like that, even though, you know, I'm 50 years older than he is. <laughs> I get up never once that I wake up in the morning and say, oh, I don't really feel like going in there. You know, I loved, I loved every day that I was there. So, and I, I think that came across. And so that, to me, that's the best experience I could have. Uh, one of the things I loved the most about WCC was the faculty and staff that I, I worked with when I was there. Um, they were just really inspiring, and you could tell they really loved what they did, and that was so important to me. Like, the photography teacher loved photography, my art teachers loved art, and they were amazing artists. The film professor, like, you could tell as soon as class was over, he'd go home and watch more films. So, <laughs> and they really loved what they did, and that rubbed off on us, and it was really inspiring. And it's definitely, uh, taking a class with someone who actually cares about what they're teaching meant meant the world difference to me. They were awesome teachers and they inspired me and even in classes where I wasn't necessarily uh, interested in, they just, they were so excited about themselves, it would get me excited about the subject too. So when I was at Westchester Community College, uh, the class that really changed my life was the photography class that I took at the Westchester Art Workshop. The teacher's name was Tim Keating, I'll never forget him. He was a working professional photographer at the time, so I really like respected a lot what he had to say. And uh, he gave us, one of our first assignments was to shoot a long exposure. Um, you, just, you just had to do a long exposure of anything you wanted, so. This one is a four minute exposure that I took of the Manhattan skyline that night. My dad actually came with me, it was a nice, and when Tim, Ke when Tim Keating saw it, he said, this is a really great photo. And he's like, you know, you have uh, some photographic talent and I think you could do this professionally if you want to. And that's when all the wheels started turning in my head where I was like, wow, okay, maybe I can actually do this, this could be my profession, because I love taking photos and all the films, so put them together, and there you have cinematography. I'm currently a director of photography, also known as a cinematographer in the film and TV business. Uh, I do television shows and commercials and documentaries, and WCC helped prepare me for that by starting me off and giving me a great foundation. Uh, they gave me a great introduction to filmmaking there, so I had a, a base knowledge of how films are made. I touched the camera for the first time at WCC, uh, both video camera and uh, still photo SLR camera and I learned how to develop my own film so it gave me some technical skills uh, getting ready uh, for my career but then it also um, prepared me to go to film school so the the credit transfer system between Westchester Community College and NYU was amazing at the time and my my goal was to get into NYU film school so I, at WCC I just tried my best and got the best portfolio together that I could to get into NYU film school 
And sure enough, uh, it worked. So after I graduated from WCC, I went to NYU Film School. I've shot many different things for, for Netflix, uh, Apple TV+, Plus, Disney+, Plus, um, including uh, Jeffrey Epstein, Filthy Rich, Comedians in Cars, Getting Coffee, um, operated on Hamilton on Disney+, Plus. The, uh, the, that's the, the recording of the Broadway show. Same for Justin Timberlake and the, and the Tennessee Kids on Netflix. Um, also, uh, early on in my career, I worked on this amazing documentary called Metallica, Some Kind of Monster. Um, I was day playing for a couple days, but it was uh, also working with two directors who I really admired, Joe Berenger and Bruce Sanofsky. So the fact that I got to shoot with them and like my favorite band growing up, Metallica, was really, really cool. I'm super honored to have won two Emmy Awards. It's uh, incredible. I never even dreamed that that could happen. But the most important thing for me is just making projects that mean something to people. That's the, that's the most rewarding part of the whole thing. If I, if I make a project that makes someone's day, because you know, they're having a tough day, they come home and they throw on Netflix and something I shot is on and it, it takes their mind off the real world, then that, uh, that's the biggest achievement for me. And then, and then, and then I graduated. Yeah. So yeah, this is the invitation to the graduation in uh, May 19th, 1996, when I graduated from WCC. Mm -hmm. And there we are. It's a pretty big turn. What, but now what building is that in front of? That's the student center. That was a good day. Yeah. I remember Dr. Hankin, when he was giving his opening speech, he mentioned that there was a father, father and son, son team here today. Yeah, <laughs> so that was us. <laughs> Well, I mean, that's where I got started in my college education. Um, I was very proud of the WCC's education that I got and the people that I met there. 75 years is a long time, and I think our record speaks for itself. And, and I'm very proud of what we've done over these years, me being just a part of it for 45 years, but still... Um, I, th I think, uh, I hope you all take advantage of what's offered. Good, good faculty members still teaching great classes and then take those with you to your next schools if you go to the uh, next school or wherever you choose to go. I'm very proud of being a big part of this 75 years. I guess more than half, now that I think about it. If I was there 45 years, and I, I was active <laughs> more than half of those 75 years, so. Uh, I'm very proud of that. Uh, WCC is very beautiful, welcoming, and inspiring. I think nurturing. I keep hearing that from graduates who come back to visit, and they always say they like the next school, whatever it was. But it's not like WCC. <laughs> Being a WCC alumni means a lot to me because I'm pretty proud of what I've accomplished, and WCC is the foundation for that. So when I was there, I knew I wanted to do great things in my life. I wanted to make the people at WCC proud. So I just did everything I could to, to be as uh, successful and happy in my life as possible to, to, um, to show the folks at WCC that ever, the, what they taught me made an impact and it was worth it. Huge congratulations to Westchester Community College on 75 years. That is an absolute amazing, amazing accomplishment. And all the students there are just so lucky to be there. Um, I love WCC. It's been a huge part of my life. And just take advantage and enjoy every moment there because it's a really special place filled with special people. And it's definitely a family environment. And uh, big congratulations on 75 years. Wishing you another 75 years of great success.